Get Captain Thule to the apothecary. Hurry! Calm yourself, Thaddeus. Gordian is already at work. Commander, I am Apothecary Gordian, Chief of Genome Medicine aboard the Armageddon. Captain Thule still lives, mm. but he is in grave condition. Many of his vital organs and implants were destroyed, and an alien poison is attacking... I think that's a fist, right? I have placed Captain Thule in stasis to halt the poison's progress. But as of now, I have no means Even to more powerful blades, tracks. why the hell not? Gordian had better prepare himself for more of us to require his tending. You fear the aliens, Cyrus? I know no fear, Avatus. But I am no fool. Those were Tyranids. Alien monsters who strip worlds of all life. There are billions of them. And only a handful of us. Have you faced these things before, Cyrus? Once. A long time ago, when I served in the Death Watch, we are going to need all the help we can get to face this infestation. Even then, we will probably fail. Commander, with your permission, I will attempt to raise the nearest of our chapter fleets. This may take some time, however. In the meantime, we need to secure Typhon before the rest of the Tyranid Swarm arrives. Otherwise, our supply lines will be devastated. There is an Eldar raiding party that continues to wreak havoc on our defenses on Typhon. We should return to Typhon and eliminate those Eldar. Yeah, like, uh, basically you can just keep a bolter on and with all of these special ammunitions you can delete everything. Because you get melt, -bomb, melt ammunition and all the other kinds that you need versus every kind of enemy at certain point yeah let's keep that on too armor rating and suppression Ah, uh, yeah, shit. we can't use that. I mean, we can, but... Nope. I can pick that instead of the ones that increase discipline. Make their armors more energy for him. Now that's kind of useless. Has a shitload of armor though. mission. Eldar. Commander, we have located the Eldar raiding party that threatens our supply lines between Typhon and Calderas. Explosives. Yeah, we should be fine. Don't start with full energy at all. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fine. Let's get shrine first. Yes, brother. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Get over there. Let's call an RT strike too. Uh, 
Uh, that's for the dreadnought. Oh, everything getting wiped instantly. Let's see how we do against those. Should do fine. Should do fine. The, 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 what are they called again? Um, the Devastator squads should have a last cannon and plasma cannon. Still. I got this so unfair. Ooh, finally, some new armor. Wait, I can Where does the ranger spawn? And remember. No wonder the Varsia chose the Orcs as our instruments instead of you. And all this time, you might have been killing Tyranids. You deserve everything that's come. I accidentally to killed the guy. Accidentally. I think me, Swift, I and Swifty, me, I don't know, Swifty and I play this on the, what's the difficulty below Primark, or whatever that is, can't remember. Come on, get up here. This was this easy. Uprising could actually slow the Tyranid Stadius. If the Eldar were not doing this on our own recruiting worlds, we could use the situation to our advantage. Using orcs and Eldar to stop an enemy? Why would we waste our time with that? We are space marines. We there actually is a harder version of this mod, but I didn't download that because of. Just in get avatus. Ever. But we face an enemy that knows yeah, I suppose we can customize your uh, the enemies on your own. The HP they have. The sector. Let our enemies beware. Our victory is ours. to slow down the Tyranids. Yes, Nemerian clearly knew of the Tyranids. This explains much, but we have been getting reports of other Eldar activity in the sector that is not related to the Orcs. Clearly, the Eldar have other plans in motion, none of which can be good for us. I will keep you apprised of any further developments, Commander. What can you tell us about the Tyranids, Cyrus? The Tyranids are unlike any other threat we have faced, Targus. Orcs may operate in vast hordes, but they still have individual chieftains that unite them. Kill these chieftains, and the Orc horde is weakened and scattered. A Tyranid hive fleet, however, is a single massive organism. Every creature in the swarm is simply one part of a single terrifying mind. We cannot break the Tyranid's morale, or take advantage of their pride. We cannot make them see reason. And for every beast we kill, a million more are ready to take its place. But what do they want? The hive devours entire worlds. Its goal is to feed itself and grow. And it will not stop until the entire galaxy is consumed. Commander, the orcs continue to undermine our defenses on Calderas. We need to shore up these defenses if we are to have any hope of stopping the Tyranids.
This a message is coming in from Chapter Command. Commander, this is Gabriel Angelos aboard the Battle Barge Litany of Fury. I have received word of the Tyranid threat facing Subsector Aurelia and of Captain Thule's grave condition. The Tyranids are a threat of unimaginable proportions, Commander. They are endless in number and intent on consuming whole worlds. The Litany of Fury is now making for Aurelia at all speed, but we are weeks away. I will relay all distress signals back to you while we devise a plan of attack. Commander, we have located Captain Thule's attacker. The warrior beast that you drove into the Badlands has resurfaced, leading a swarm of lesser tyranids. This is I'm not sure if I'm... Strike back at the well, you, most of you probably, probably played this game, so I'm gonna skip over the dialogue. Well, this, you know, mission dialogue, which is not important. Jesus. Captain Thule will have his vengeance. Here we got Terminator armor. Nobody knows what happened there, but it seems Avatis can demolish everything. Those rounds are just too good. Yeah, everything he shoots just dies instantly. Okay, let's send him to clear out the other half of the map. While we take this. Yeah, see, without him, you're not that overpowered. So much loot. I might actually switch over the bullets to Arcus. Since he's faster. The hell is that? So much loot. I think those are supposed to spawn in yet, right? <laughs> oh, it's actually surviving. Crap. I like how both of them dropped the same weapon. Guess I'll have to look into the harder version of the mod at some point. Ooh, hellfire rounds. Right. <laughs> it's gonna become even easier. Much for him. Apothecary Gordian has dispatched servitors to collect and analyze the warrior's corpse. Our librarians have also consulted the more complete records aboard the Litany of Fury. With this information, we have devised a plan of attack against the High Fleet. 
Tyranids have a simple and terrible agenda, Commander. Left unchecked, they will kill and consume every living thing on the planet. Our only hope of stopping the Tyranids is to strike at the heart of the Hive Fleet itself. For us to do this, you must first accomplish three critical tasks. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. Only its precise scans will allow us to analyze the Hive Fleet and locate its weaknesses. You must also obtain a sample of the Hive Fleet's biotoxins. Only a pure gene sample will allow us to develop a poison to strike at the Hive Fleet. And you must secure access to Angel Forge on planet Meridian. Only this ancient forge's vast manufacturing capabilities will allow us to produce weapons with which to deliver our poison. Each of these tasks pits your handful against untold billions. But failure means the utter annihilation of our worlds. And a death sentence for our chapter. Okay. Commander, we need to take direct control of Angel Our handful? Forge. I'm, authorizing I'm not quite sure about that. The planetary governor has been less than cooperative thus far. So be Ooh. prepared for bureaucratic resistance. Angelos out. Chain fist. Why is bolt what? I'm gonna assume that's a dreadnought weapon, right? Yep, probably is. Oh, sight range for him is gonna be so good. Let's give him armor writing and its accuracy. Now I'm gonna stick with the sniper on him. And as for you, a bolta. Let's get rid of these. 26. Burnable's Hellfire Round. Give those to him. Jesus. Fancy. <laughs> Look at this. Let's give this one. Why the hell not? Let's give him the bombs. Because he's gonna be the closest probably to the enemy. See how he performs with the uh, blast cannon.
Commander. Commander. The El Okay, this is probably going to be the last mission for the day. Stay alert. The Eldar strike without warning. On the beginning assault. Devastator Marines ready Steady. to combat. Target in sight. But can you not fire from there? Really? God, nothing stands a chance. Except the armored enemies. Damn, they really do do a lot of damage. I don't think any amount of regen is gonna help. Look at how much the health they have. Is he going around? Who knows? Where? Kill it! Alright, the boss is here. He's gonna get wiped instantly. Isn't the boss HP thing supposed to pop up when you're fighting them? Even on these missions? Jesus fucking Christ. Kill it. I think it's suicide. This is still has that on, Jesus. Fucking suppression from the snipers. <laughs> Stay OP. And that's it. That's the whole mission. I guess if you split up the special rounds, the ammunition, you can just take Havitus on one side and Argus on the other, or Cyrus, or the commander actually, just, you know. Make them go their separate ways and just clean off the whole map. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Prelate Benetio of House Toral passes on his thanks, Commander. Thank you guys. Guys, that's it for tonight. This will be up on YouTube if you want to watch it in segments, not the whole live stream. Um, probably higher quality too. Thank you for watching. Have a good morning, good day, good night. See you next time.